We begin with that Bronx Cultural Center, defaced a week ago today with paint and pro-Palestinian graffiti. CBS 2's Sosh Bedrosian spoke with the co-president of the center in his first on-camera interview about the importance of continuing their mission of preserving culture and language. She reports from Norwood. To put paint on a front door and to scribble what looks like a political slogan on a building that has nothing to do with politics is clearly an anti-Semitic gesture. Halloween night brought a gloom to the historic Shalom Alechem Cultural Center in the Bronx. The NYPD says an unidentified person spray-painted Free Palestine on the building and covered the door in paint and broken eggs. I think it shows how pervasive anti-Semitism is. It's always been sort of bubbling under the surface. Although the remnants of the incident linger the perpetrator is likely unaware of the beacon of light that remains inside. This is the sound of Yiddish, a 1,000-year-old language spoken by Central and Eastern European Jews and threatened at the plight of World War II. Yiddish alphabet is largely phonetic. The center has worked to preserve the endangered language for years, one of the only places in the country to do so, a language fully embraced by New Yorkers. New York bagels especially, that's the Yiddish word. And its culture. All the characters that are in Fiddler on the Roof are inspired by this. The building at one point was an after-school center teaching children their family's generational language, literature, and the writings of famous authors. The center here on Bainbridge Avenue has been around for 62 years. The co-presidents say this is the first time there's ever been an incident of anti-Semitism. If people really appreciated who they are, where they come from, and where their neighbor comes from, they won't waste time buying paint and vandalizing a building most likely. The NYPD's hate crimes task force was notified and the investigation is ongoing. In Norwood, the Bronx, Shosh Bedrosian, CBS2 News.